Hi friends, Joe here, I'm back with a uh, another little video to have a little listen to, another song to listen to. Um, this was a suggestion from Katerina. The song is called Let Me Hear um, by the group Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which is a group and a song I've never heard of in my whole life. So I am going to continue on with my quest for new and interesting music. Let's have a little listen. Oh. Pardon me, Stu. Things. Just, let me just cut Joe off for his uh, three, two, one. There. Pardon me. Uh, I wanted to actually wrap to this track as well by Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So uh, uh, we've got to work out some way to duly do this from Australia to the UK <laughs> to these tracks. But anyway, yep. I want to check this out, so I'm just going to react in between Joe's reaction. So let's do another edit and get straight into it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You get to know Quite the uh quite the auto tune. Oh yeah, yeah, there's auto tune. <laughs> Heavily influenced. This is like an aha clip. Go on to the mirror. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit huge. Massive production. Chris drum. Good drum sound actually. Or the screaming in the background. It's a nice mix though, isn't it? Auto tune and growling. interesting mix. This is really interesting. Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. From Japan? I'm trying to process everything that's going on in my head right now. Uh, Japan loves to mix their genres, I guess. Like, as many as they can. Bill looks cool though. Oh, we got a bit of colour now. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to figure there. out in my head what sort of style this is. It's a bit, a little bit of everything going on. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, nice solo. That's a, that's a cool guitar solo. The half-time riffage. Fan, fan <laughs> of the half-time riffage. Some faith no more sort of feel to it there with that screaming before and that heavy part, but then it went into this. Completely different again. So cool. <laughs> At times it sort of sounds cheesy, but it works. They kind of flow into each other. Bring back the chunk. Definitely holding that auto tune button down a lot during this track. But I like the strings in the background. There too. Yeah, that was a good finish off. Okay. All yours, Joe. Take it away. <laughs> and we're done. Well, I've got to say, wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't expecting any of that. But that sounds um, the auto tune was kind of on the 
extreme side and parts of that for my for my taste but um, that said when you put it in the context of the whole song I can see why uh, it works um, and also there's like every style going almost in that well not every style going but there's a lot of musical uh, styles going on in that song and a lot of them at the same time it's like a bit of dance music a bit of metal and um, then the chorus is kind of almost like a pop style very sort of catchy kind of chorus so um yeah my my head's like full of stuff right now it was really it was very cool and um also uh the production is really good on that uh, on that song and um, there's so much going on that to find like space in in the mix for it all uh is not very easy <laughs> So to to do it and you can hear everything going on and it's all very clear and everything has its place um, is uh, really good. And you know that, that video has had um, like 30 million views on YouTube. So they're doing something very right. Uh, thank you for suggesting this song. If you've got any more, feel free. Um, I will continue the quest for musical enlightenment with you. Thanks and have a good day.